And good morning to you. I'm Mitch McCoy. There is an urgent call right now to conserve water across to central Arkansas, across the state right now. Want to let you know about several different issues that we're tracking right now. There is a boil, wall, boil water advisory in Sparkman, Arkansas. We're also monitoring developments right now um, throughout Mayflower, where we're learning that Mayflower has been, uh, been without water since 11 p.m. Thursday. The city's water tanks are nearly empty after its water system's main pipe busted. Um, crews are unable to refill them at this hour. City officials are hoping that the tank will be full later this morning uh, and they'll be able to turn it back on to test for further leaks. And then we're also learning about some people in Benton who are without water. A citywide boil water notice has been issued due to continued low or no pressure. And in Pine Bluff, there is uh, some issues there with water pressure. We're learning that there is a call from uh, Liberty, uh, the Liberty system there to conserve water. Um, there is no boil water advisory in Pine Bluff at this hour. We know that uh, volunteer fire departments have been assisting the city's fire or excuse me, the uh, city's uh, hospital there trying to get them water overnight to keep the heat on at Jefferson Regional Medical Center. A lot to unpack here and uh, at this hour there is a call from Central Arkansas Water to conserve water and this is all while pipes uh, thaw out. There's a lot to try and just understand with this um, as Central Arkansas, Arkansas in general continues in the bitterly cold weather. Doug Shackelford, Douglas Shackelford from Central Arkansas Water joining me live at this hour. Doug, thank you for joining us. Um, try and, and help people understand what's happening to the water in Arkansas. Well, uh, it, simply put, we faced an unprecedented weather event with temperatures that are not typical for this area. And with these prolonged low temperatures and the freezing in the ground, it's just had an effect on the, the integrity of some of these water systems. Um, obviously, uh, you know, these, these pipes are flowing uh, with water 24-7, 365. And when the temperatures get as low as they have for four or five days in a row, you're gonna see freezing within some of these pipes. Um, the water's gonna expand a little bit. It might find a weakness or two. And when it does, it's, it's, going, to, it's going to break that pipe and, and crews are gonna to have to try and go out and fix it. And they're you know, dealing with still a pretty deep level layer of, of snow on the ground, as well as, as just the, the you know, travel issues and everything else uh, that's going on out there. So I know a lot of water utilities are, are, are struggling and and uh, are, are doing their best to keep things flowing. Uh, and Central Arkansas water is, is really no different. We're in a little better shape, I think, as it stands than some others who have already had to uh, put out boil notices or even don't even have supply at this point. But uh, we just wanna make sure that our customers are aware that, that um, there are some things we can do uh, as customers to hopefully prevent uh, some of these boil water notices from coming down our path. Sure, and, and I'd like to talk about that here in just a moment um, because I first want to talk about w what's happening to the pipes. Uh, so if, if temperatures are climbing, a lot of people might think, well, my pipes didn't bust. I'm out of uh, the, the, the woods here. I'm in good shape. But you're saying that this is when some of the major problems might start? Yeah, I think what you're going to see is um, as temperatures change and, and pipes begin to thaw, uh, you might see some some breaks occur uh, when when the temperatures change and then and then warm up cool off warm up uh, you know there's some contraction and expansion within the system within the pipes and again it can kind of identify some of the weaknesses especially in older pipes um, and you know that that slight temperature change uh, may be enough to trigger a, a a little crack or a break somewhere in that pipe um, we generally see the most breaks in our system. Uh, in the in the extreme heat of the summer months or in the extreme cold of the winter months. And of course, that's where we are. Uh, and and never mind the fact that we're dealing with all of the snow and really, I mean, extreme winter temperatures for, for Arkansas. Uh, obviously, we've set some records over the last few days. So um, not typical uh, for what we're, we normally deal with. And, and we're just doing our best to try to keep the system integrity in line and 
and uh, provide water to, to everyone in the community. Important to note here, Doug Shackelford joining us from Central Arkansas Water. There is no boil water advisory in effect yet for customers who have Central Arkansas Water, uh, but you are asking customers to conserve their water. How much water is, I mean, is there a way to put a number on how much water is left uh, in your tanks at Central Arkansas Water? Well, it really has more to do with what we're producing. Um, our water treatment plant is still up and running. We're still getting water from Lake Maumel uh, and Lake Winona, our two uh, lakes that, that provide water to, to our, our system. And uh, everything is functioning well, knock on wood, there. The water is making it to the treatment plant and we're treating it. What we are seeing that is causing us some concern uh, is that we, we know we're losing water. Uh, and so as we produce it, we're also losing it and therefore not able to get all of the tanks, you know, at, at the level that they need to be. We're seeing uh, what we call drafting some of the tanks that are uh, going down, you know, a foot or two uh, every couple of hours uh, because there's water going out. We're putting water back in. We're producing and putting water back in, uh, but we're, we're losing water at a pretty good clip, too. And so. What we're trying to do at this point is find a lot of those leaks uh, and see about getting them repaired so that we can kind of slow down some of this water loss. Uh, that was part of what we put out in our release was to, uh, you know, if the public has seen something, recognizes something, maybe they think they have a water leak or there's a water leak in their neighborhood to let us know about it so we can come check it out. Um, so I, I want to remind folks just joining us here, maybe they just got their app on their mobile phone uh, or they're watching on Facebook here. Central Arkansas Water, not under a boil water advisory yet, uh, but they are asking uh, customers to start conserving water um, as some of these pipes thaw out. Liberty in Pine Bluff, uh, folks in Pine Bluff are not under a boil water advisory. However, there are some issues at um, their, their plant uh, and Volunteer fire departments have been working throughout the night getting loads of water to Jefferson Regional Medical Center to keep to keep the heat on there and they are working around the clock right now. They are asking people in Pine Bluff to conserve water. Sparkman, uh, for folks joining us from Sparkman right now, there is a boil water uh, advisory in effect there because of issues at the plant um, and it, um, this is uh, to do with low water pressure um, and it's a complete loss in their normal system pressure so that that boil water advisory is in effect and, and this is I'm not kidding Doug uh, there's information coming in even while we're on the air uh, we're talking about Benton uh, their um, city is under a boil water advisory and Mayflower crews there are working around the clock trying to repair uh, issues at their tanks where we're learning about the system's main pipe busting uh, and uh, right now they're unable to refill those tanks so they're working to get that uh, fixed and hopefully um, at some point uh, later this morning or early afternoon things will be uh, get back on track in Mayflower. Doug Shackle for joining us from Central Arkansas Water. Doug, I, I, I'm wondering here, what, uh, how long is, is this request to conserve water going to last as you guys uh, work around the clock to, to try and get this uh, message out to folks? Sure. Uh, you know, at this point, I would say at least through the weekend, um, if, if not even a little longer. It really just depends, I think, on how quickly we thaw uh, and, and then more or less what's exposed after that thawing occurs. Um, again, we know we have water loss out in the system. We suspect that a lot of our water loss is coming from smaller pipes uh, that maybe simply haven't been identified yet. Uh, case in point, we had last night a fire suppression system in a building uh, that had a broken pipe uh, you know, down in the basement um, and, but that building had been unoccupied for the last three or four days because people couldn't get into work. Uh, so that's what we think is we're going to find is as people get back into buildings, they maybe get back into churches, um, that they're going to go in and, and find a broken pipe or something like that that's created an issue. And, and that we're, we're going to see a lot of those. And those types of pipe breaks are what are simply taking some of our water uh, and sending it right down the drain, if you will. So we suspect that over the next two or three days, we're going to see uh, more identification of breaks um, and then obviously going to have to dispatch crews or in the cases of 
you know, some of these private homes or, or businesses, uh, the plumbing community here in central Arkansas will, I'm sure, be mobilized, and uh, they already are, uh, but will certainly be mobilized to, to go out and try to repair a lot of these breaks um, to, to stop this water loss. But um, uh, the, uh, the other issue that we are asking the, the public to really help us with uh, is uh, personal sprinkler systems for like yard, uh, yard sprinklers those can break and leak and in conditions like this folks wouldn't even recognize it because it's buried under two feet of snow and as the snow begins to melt the ground's going to be wet so you might not even notice a, a, a you know a, a spot in the yard where there's water bubbling up or where it's wet because the entire yard is going to be wet as mm -hmm. the snow melts so if folks have a a personal home sprinkler system uh, for their yards and they have not turned it off for the winter uh, we're requesting that folks go out and, and and turn off that sprinkler system at the meter if if they have a separate meter for that system because that could certainly isolate leaks uh, that folks don't even realize are are happening right now douglas uh, shackle for joining us from central arkansas water this morning douglas um is is the water safe to drink in central arkansas yes um, we are still producing water the same way we always do. Uh, we, we don't have any changes at this point other than we're seeing the water loss and our tanks are not refilling as quickly as we would like them to refill. Um, that's why we've put out the notice to conserve water. We have no boil water notices at this time. I know you mentioned um, some of the other utilities around us that do and are dealing with pressure loss. We are still maintaining pressure within our system. Um, the one thing that folks might see uh, over the next couple of days is some discoloration. Um, that's generally when there is a pressure change in the system. Uh, water can speed up within certain pipes, and when it does, it scours the inner lining of these pipes, which is generally lined with manganese uh, and iron. Uh, and those are both naturally occurring minerals. Uh, they are not harmful. A lot of people actually take iron and manganese as supplements. Uh, but it will create a reddish brown color um, in, in the water. And so as pressures change, um, as we have to go in and adjust valves and do what we need to do in the system to maintain pressures, or if there's a dropout of pressure because of a break, or as a pipe is repaired and pressure comes back online, uh, folks could see some discoloration over the next few days. Uh, but again, no boil water notices and the water safe to drink. Um, what can folks do right now outside of going outside and, and finding their valve to the, to the outside, uh, maybe underground sprinkling system? What can they do to um, prevent pipes from busting? And, and it was actually a um, conversation we were having, ha having here earlier today, and, and it, somebody brought it up on Facebook, you know, where everybody talks about, you know, drip your faucets. Uh, we're not talking, or maybe we are, um, I think, the, the dripping of the faucets is still okay uh, during the cold weather? I mean, what does conserve your water mean when messages are leave your faucets dripping? Sure, no, that, and that's a great question. Uh, yes, we, we don't want your pipes bursting because that creates bigger problems, not only from a homeowner's perspective and the inconvenience of that, but also for the system. So we certainly recommend that folks continue to leave their pipe or their faucets dripping uh, we do recommend a slow drip. Uh, we, we don't need any full streams of water. Um, that's obviously going to be more taxing to the system the more water that's coming through the faucet. So a slow drip will be a good preventative measure. Of course, there's no guarantee that that's going to stop a pipe from freezing or breaking, but uh, it's, it's a good defensive measure to put into place and keep into place. So yes, certainly uh, still a slow drip on the faucets is fine. What we're really asking for at this point from a conservation perspective is to slow down on some of the other water, big water users in, in the home. Uh, dishwashers, washing machines, uh, those obviously use a lot of water. If you can go a couple of days without doing a load of laundry, if you can go a couple of days, uh, maybe with just uh, doing some real quick hand washing on dishes instead of running the dishwasher, uh, those kind of things. Uh, obviously, don't fill up your bathtub right now. Um, a lot of people, uh, we want to make sure that people understand we're not in a, a panic situation. Uh, we do not expect the water to go off. 
Uh, we are just trying to, again, continue to maintain and hold the integrity of the system. So one of the worst things that could happen is if everyone goes and tries to fill up their bathtub in case they lose water. Um, right now, that would be a very taxing on the system. Uh, everyone still has water and we're going to do our very best to make sure everyone keeps water. We're just asking that where you can uh, cut back because really it, it compounds very quickly. You know, a, a few dishwashers not running, uh, a few washing machines not running, compounds across the entire community. And we would see a, an increase in the amount of, of water we have available to replenish the tanks and keep pressure in the system. Douglas Shackle for joining us from Central Arkansas Water this morning. Um, and, and there's a lot of information available on our websites uh, at KRK4 and fox16.com. Um, and uh, of course, as we continue to watch this story unfold throughout the day, uh, Douglas, I'm sure that you'll, you, you wouldn't have a problem coming back on to, to give us updates because uh, we do know that this is one of those instances where things are changing um, by the hour. And, and when I say changing by the hour, it's not just for you guys, but it's for Arkansas as a whole. I mean, we're talking about multiple water companies here uh, that are um, in, in full um, you know, conserve mode here. And so, uh, of course, we'll, we'll keep folks uh, updated the best that we can. Uh, it's also worth noting, um, and, and it's my bad, I, I got all these papers mixed up, Conway, for folks up in Conway, um, they are asking people to, to start conserving water as well. So for folks just joining us here, we've talked about Benton, we've talked about uh, Central Arkansas Water, we've talked about uh, Pine Bluff. There are multiple requests now to, to conserve water, and in some cases, like Sparkman and in Benton, they're asking you to uh, boil your water before using. Douglas Shackelford, any uh, last words here as we wrap up, sir? Um, again, we, we do ask for your patience. Um, we are doing everything we can. We have multiple crews out in the community right now. Uh, we are looking for any leaks that we can find. Again, if you do find a leak, please let us know. You can call our emergency dispatch line. Uh, the number is 501-377-1239. And let us know if you do find what you believe to be a water leak. Uh, that will allow us to get someone out to take a look at it. Um, if you do have a leak in your home uh, or a pipe burst, you can certainly go to your meter and shut the water off uh, to your home to A, prevent damage, uh, but B, also help the system. Uh, and to do that, we've actually put some instructions out uh, on our social media pages uh, to kind of show you how to turn a meter off if you need to. There's a lot of steps you can take to assist in this process. It's unprecedented. Uh, I think we all know that we're doing the best we can to maintain the system and, and make sure water's flowing to your home. We appreciate everyone's help. Uh, and um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it through and, and I think we're gonna be in, in pretty good shape when it's all said and done. Douglas Shackelford from Central Arkansas Water as uh, the Central Arkansas Water asks its customers to start conserving water immediately. Douglas, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Just as we wrap up here, I want to remind folks there are multiple water companies across Arkansas asking you to conserve water. In some cases, there is a boil water advisory. Just go to our website, krk.com, fox16.com. Of course, we have team coverage beginning in about four minutes on KRK4 to, uh, at noon. Uh, Got to forget, we're not in the morning show now. Uh, and that, of course, will begin our team coverage on Arkansas Today. And that's on all NBC stations across Arkansas. And, of course, we're already preparing for team coverage beginning at 4 o'clock on KRK4 News at 4. For now, I'm Mitch McCoy. I hope you have a good rest of your afternoon. Stay warm out there, folks, and we'll see you later today.